Hi, this is Shep Hyken, customer service speaker, expert, and the author of the New York Times and Wall Street Journal best-selling business book, The Amazement Revolution. On this video, I'm going to talk about how 80% of customer service is just being nice. Woody Allen said 80% of success is just showing up. Well, 80% of customer service is just being nice. Recently, I've been writing more and more about the simplicity of customer service. The concept of customer service really is simple. Just be nice. Okay, maybe I'm oversimplifying this just a bit. A great customer service experience consists of two other elements, operations and quality of what you sell. That's the other 20%. But without that other 20%, it doesn't matter how nice you are. First, let's cover operations as it applies to the customer experience. Anything that isn't considered part of the frontline customer service experience but impacts customer service can be put in the category of operations. This can be accounting, warehousing, the manufacturing process, hiring, or anything that it takes to run a business and produce the product. Then there's the quality standard. Whatever you sell has to meet the customer's expectations. If you sell expensive leather shoes, the customer will expect them to last a long, long time. Conversely, if you sell inexpensive shoes, the customer shouldn't be surprised if they fall apart after a year. Either way, you have a quality expectation that needs to be met if not exceeded. Finally, you add delivery to the mix. And this is the part about being nice. Even if you're flawless in your operation and meet the customer's quality expectations, you can't leave out what may be the most important part, the frontline customer service experience, which is controlled by people, hopefully nice people. This is 80% of customer service. It's the show that you perform for your customer. This is what the customer sees and experiences as they take delivery of your products or services. That's why people will pay more for a cup of coffee at Starbucks because they provide an amazing experience. And it starts with the nice people behind the counter who take the customer's order and make the coffee. Even a website is controlled by people. The customer's experience will be a direct result of the thought and effort that someone or a group of people put into making the website experience simple and easy to navigate. Now there are lots of companies that manufacture or sell the same types of products or services that other companies do. It's the ones that can differentiate themselves with their customer service that are more successful. And a big part of that customer service, maybe even as high as 80%, is simply about being nice. Simply put, if the product or service does what it's supposed to do and you're nice about the way you deliver it, then you have a winning combination. It really is that simple. Well, I hope you enjoyed this short lesson. Please be sure to visit my website, which is www.hyken.com. There you'll find more information about my speaking programs, as well as over 200 customer service articles that you can read and share with your colleagues. Thank you very much for watching. This is Shep Hyken. I'm reminding you to always be amazing.